What's going on, sliders? Today, I will be showing you guys how to tune your car with MHD. I know I have a few of you guys that are unfamiliar with this platform and you guys are looking to tune your car and be fast. So I'm hoping you guys have already purchased this adapter so that you can connect to your car and flash your car. So once you have this, you're going to plug this into your car down here, down below. The process is pretty simple throughout like all platforms. You just want to have ignition on, connect it to the adapter and leave the car alone while you're flashing. You're going to want to install the MHD app. And since we have an F series, we're going to go ahead and install the F plus G series MHD app. So I already have that installed. You're going to want to open it. And once you're here, the first thing you want to do is make a login. Never ever forget this login and password because this is the account you're going to be using for the lifetime of this vehicle. Um, these licenses and, and, and tunes are not transferable, so you won't be able to um, transfer it to another account. You would simply have to sign into this account to be able to access these, um, these map packs and licenses so that you can flash your car. So go ahead and do that, and we'll move on to the next step. If you guys didn't connect to the car, you're going to want to go to the Wi-Fi settings here. If you have an iPhone, at least, it should be the same with Android. And you're going to want to connect to MHD Enet. After you've connected to your car, you're going to want to buy the Super License, which is what I recommend 100%. I recommend just buying the Super License, which is what I have for my car, which pretty much gives me all uh, everything. Um, because from experience, I'll tell you right now, you may just want to buy one map pack for stage one or stage two. But as we all know, you're never fast enough. You're always going to be fast. You want to be faster. So do yourself a favor. Get the super license. It's like $500, something like that. Or maybe less, maybe $400. All right, guys. So go ahead, purchase that license. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is making your car fast. All right, guys. So once you guys have signed in, we're good to go. We're going to go to obtain licenses. My licenses. And you're going to want to activate a new license key. I'm assuming that everyone has downloaded the app plugged in their adapter connected to their car and purchased their licenses so now we will move forward to flash your first mhd map um, i recommend turning off all accessories all lights everything turn off everything because when you're flashing the car you want your battery to uh, you don't want your battery to drain while you're flashing the car because that can cause issues and it can cause a no start and you do not want to be left stranded with a dead battery and the car that doesn't start because the flash failed midway so we don't want that so make sure you guys turn off all accessories if you have a battery charger they recommend plugging in a battery charger i myself drive this car a lot so my battery charge is pretty high and i won't have those issues but for others that don't drive as much just hook up a battery charger or some jumper cables to another car running so that way you guys are certain that your battery will not die while you guys are flashing the maps all right guys so once you have your ignition on you have your adapter connected and your phone is connected to the adapter so we're going to go to flash an mhd map right here and now you have the option of stage zero which is how it came from factory from bmw stage zero plus which would be 
the power and sound kit um, tune that BMW would give you if you were to have the power and sound kit. And then you have stage one, which gives you a little boost. You'll be definitely faster than a car with a power and sound kit. Then you have stage two, which um, they gener generally they recommend to have upgraded downpipes. But from personal experience, I'm not going to tell you not to flash stage two on a stock car because I've done it and it was perfectly fine. Um, it just causes a lot of smell like it smells like rotten eggs um, because of the catalytic, of course, but don't run this permanently forever because you're going to end up just melting your catalytics over time or blowing them up, blowing up your cat, which is um, not what you want because those cats are pretty valuable and you'd probably you know benefit keeping your cats intact and in good condition that's just me so yeah guys if you guys have a stock car i would go stage two all day long now here we have stage two <clears throat> with high pressure fuel pump so this would be definitely for sure you would want a up upgraded downpipe uh, or a catless downpipe or a high flow downpipe whichever you prefer um and the car is going to be running way harder with the um, upgraded high pressure fuel pump, whichever it is that you choose to install, whether that be the Gen 2 B58 high pressure fuel pump, which is the B58 TU pump, um, the Dorsch pumps, any of the Dorsch pumps or any of the fuel it pumps, um, any upgraded high pressure fuel pump, um, you're going to want to put this this um, map on which so this would be your your stage two plus map um and as you guys can see here it says the octane ratings for what you want to run so every octane rating is a different map so whatever it is that you're running at the moment you're going to want to flash that octane rating whether it be 93 or e e40 and e40 blend which is e85 mixed with 93 or a full E85 map. So that's just that. And here we have the final selection, which could be to run multiple maps, which is for people that like to change their um, their maps on the fly. I have the map one, I have it on an E40, and then I have map two on E40 as well with 60% power in case I hand off the car to someone else who I don't really completely trust, um, I would cut the power down 60% so the, that person does not get the full power of my car without my permission. So on my map three, I have a 93 map. You can change it here. You click it, 93. I have a 93 map in case I ever go on a long drive or a road trip and I don't have access to E85, I always have a 93 map in hand so that way um we don't run into any issues um filling up with 93 and running an e85 map and then my map four is a another 93 map at 60 percent for the same reasons if someone drives my car and my car is on 93 i do not want them ripping through the gears at 100 percent power um so i'll turn that down to 60 percent so this multi-map is someone who, you know, um, messes around a lot like myself and um, is already pretty comfortable with flashing their car and pretty much understands how this works. You see your stage one, two, and this is the one that I run um, at E40. So that's just that. But for today... I'm trying to keep it nice and simple for you guys. If you guys are obviously first timers in installing and flashing your car, you are most likely not going to go down there. You're most likely going to just run a stage one map, stage two, or a stage two high pressure fuel pump. If you guys got all the parts already installed on your car. Um, so yeah, guys, 
it's very very simple to flash this you literally click it boom contact the dme and then well this is probably not a good example let's go back let's go to stage two so here we go so we have a stage two map which is what we're gonna flash today and so i have an x i have the xhp flash on my car which is um a transmission tuner so i would select this one but if you do not have a transmission tuner you're just gonna put auto a a t automatic just like that so then we're gonna click stage two we're gonna connect to the dme and remember your ignition is supposed to be on so this whole time I've been talking, my ignition turned off. So let's make sure we have the ignition on. So that way you're actually connected to the car. So, all right, guys. So I'm not going to do this um, map right with you guys because I already have my car dialed in and I don't want to mess with anything. But once you are here ready to write before you press long write which be initiates the flash you're going to want to go to options which allows you to activate anti-lag which is awesome adjust the the boost target that you'd like for anti-lag um allow mhz plus controls I, you have allow that if you want to rush run the multi maps because you're going to be able to control which map you want from this button here and these little thing here so you're going to want to allow that your exhaust setup is aftermarket downpipes of course well for me it is but if it's not what's going on here if it's not oh i'm sorry so if it's not you can put stock downpipes so that way the car knows whether it has to hide the code for aftermarket downpipes or not and then obviously remove the top speed because we don't want any limits we don't need anything limiting our speed okay increased i drive power and torque gauges you want to click that as well for when you um turn on the uh gauges on your i drive where it shows you your power and torque it will raise the the horsepower and the torque um so that way you can get a more accurate reading i don't really believe that, that it's accurate at all but it certainly does look cool so you can disable the motor start stop here so if you guys hate it when your car turns on and off at a light you can disable it completely here um so here you have the overrun brap which is when i'm sure you guys have heard it in my videos when i release the throttle you kind of hear that brap sound um similar to the m cars so i have that on let's see i have that on long because that's the way i prefer it. you guys can mess around try out the short try out the long everything here is personal preference guys don't do anything that i do try it try it for yourself see what you like be happy Cold start noise reduction. This is for your neighbors. If your car is very loud at startup, if you have a um, a muffler delete or if you have catalyst downpipes, your car is going to be very loud at startup. So if you don't want it to be loud, you simply click this. Wow. And you will not have a loud startup in the mornings that's what i have it on because i am pretty generous of my neighbors and i also don't really like the loud startup every single time i start the car so i have that on um the exhaust flap is always open in sport mode yes that's the way i like it that's just me the startup roar i have that on it gives you the gts startup roar which is very nice it's a very nice touch it gives it a nice aggressive um startup all right, high pressure fuel pump. This is what we were talking about earlier. If you guys upgrade your pump, you have an option here. One, two, you have the spool, XD1. Um, if you guys have an upgraded fuel pump, if you have the TU, you leave it on TU. All 
all right so that's that injectors stock i do not have upgraded injectors but if you did and you have these that's what you would select so sport cooling mode for intercooler i have that on because sometimes i do some spirited driving and i want my car to stay nice and cool and then here we have the coolant target stock sport or track so you guys can mess with this depending on what kind of driving you guys are going to do i generally just leave it on stock i do not want my um my car to work harder than it needs to these cars um stay pretty cool as they are but everybody does different type of driving everybody has different you know everybody uses their car differently so it's all according to you port inject port injection um this is a safety that you can uh, turn on if you want i do not have port injection so i don't use that and then the tcu limiter delete so this you would remove if you guys have a custom tune um with that 6p or whatever i turned this off because i do not lead any limits for anything i do not believe in limits limitless so yeah guys so that is those those are some of the little um accessories little options that you have um to go along with your flash to um personalize your car and the way it sounds and the way it drives and all that good stuff so don't do anything i do try it at your own pace listen to your car see what you guys like see what you guys think it's safe mhg is pretty safe in my opinion there's nothing here that will really damage your car so um yeah guys just um just do it at your own pace so after you guys are done setting up those custom settings you're going to want to click long right but before you click long right i want to keep this in mind you do not want to touch anything in the car you do not want to roll down your windows you do not want to turn off your ignition you do not want to play with your headlights you do not want to be opening and closing your door you do not want to bother the car at all while you are flashing your car that is because your car is going to go into a sensitive state where um programs are being deleted and reinstalled and you really do not want to mess with the car while it's being flashed you don't want anything to interrupt it you do not do not want your car to accidentally turn off on you you don't want any of that so when you guys click right leave your car alone if it's a hot day and it's outside i recommend getting out the car closing the door initiating the flash and letting it do its thing you do not want to be opening doors or messing with anything all right guys can't stress that enough so click long right the car is going to be able going to start tripping out on you it's going to start showing you a whole bunch of lights on the dash it's going to start saying that there's uh, errors do not pay attention to any of that stuff that is just how it goes that's how that's what happens when you're flashing your car don't panic so after you've left your car alone and you have waited for it to fully install the uh, flash you it's gonna tell you to wait 30 seconds so you're gonna exit the app you're going to turn off the ignition you're going to let it rest let it go to sleep for 30 seconds and then you can proceed to turn on your car and go for a drive and have fun and enjoy everything that you guys did so that's pretty much it for flashing your car it's pretty simple as long as you guys you know take your time and prepare yourself to put yourself in a good position where you don't have to move your car go in a parking lot go somewhere where you're not going to be bothered and someone's going to tell you to move your car um you really do not want to mess with this at all because if you do you're going to be wondering why your car doesn't start and you're going to start freaking out and it was because you interrupted the flash so if that were the case and you interrupted your flash and something like that happened, all you have to do is come back here, turn on your ignition, and start the flash all over again. It would usually rewrite it and it usually it does not cause any issues. You'll be just fine. So, that being said, guys, congratulations. You just learned how to flash your car. So, there's a few other options down here. 
you can flash your car back to stock here. Boom. Monitors. This is where you would do logging. If you guys wanted to see how your car was performing, you can do logs. You can do third gear, third gear pulls. And you can see if you guys are hitting target boost, how your timing is looking, how your intake temps are looking, how all that's looking. So this is more for just seeing how the car is performing and making sure it's performing safely. Usually you will go and send a log to your tuner if you want to get a custom tune. Or if he was revising your tune, he would ask you for a log. So you guys will get there eventually, but that's not what we're focused on today. Um, you would, this is where you would graph a log. So codes, God forbid you guys ever get a code. You can come here, you can read your codes. All right. So apparently I never took my car to BMW to get an oil change because I do oil changes myself. So it says here that I need an oil change. So that's pretty much it guys you can check your codes there you can clear codes there you can reset adaptations which whatever system you may be messing with you really don't need to mess with this unless you're doing some diagnostic or if you guys are changing any major components in your engine where you would need to reset adaptations but you don't need to mess with that and then here we have live data so you can adjust your tune on the fly. I don't really mess with none of this stuff. This is how you change your maps on your phone. I changed my maps on my steering wheel. Um, so I never ever use this. So you can open your exhaust, close your exhaust, whatever you want here. This is just little, little simple stuff. So I don't really mess with this stuff. I usually just flash my car and I get out of here. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So now you guys know how to flash your car, which is amazing. Um, if you guys um, followed all the steps, you shouldn't have any issues. If you do have any issues, feel free to write in the comments. If you have any questions, write in the comments. Um, this video was simply about MHD. If you guys want to know how to flash shp or if you want to code your car feel free to reach out with any questions um the process is pretty simple throughout like all platforms you just want to have ignition on connect it to the adapter and leave the car alone while you're flashing so that's pretty much it guys um, i'm gonna wrap up the video now and um i hope you guys are on the road to being faster so thanks for watching leave a like subscribe if this helped Slide is out.